Have you ever wondered how video games are made? Well, I have, and now I'm into game development. But making a video about the creation of a whole game to show this to you would take a long time, and it probably wouldn't even fit into one video. So, so I, I present, present to you... RANDOM PROTOTYPES! Little game-like stuff that are meant to outline one specific mechanic that I was experimenting with. Now, before I show you this masterpiece, a lot of YouTubers say this nowadays, so I'm gonna follow their lead and scam you. I mean, tell you about this wonderful thing called YouTube Analytics that shows me that only 200% of my viewers are subscribed. So if that negative 100% could subscribe right now, we could hit zero subscribers in no time. But let's get into it. So the first thing I did was to copy-paste my Game Jam project that I submitted to the Wowie Game Jam, since it already had a few things that I wanted, like 2D platformer movement and a level navigation system and the main menu. Then I got rid of a few things I didn't need, I changed up the main menu a bit, I changed the title, I kept the first level since it was good for introduction of the controls, and as you can see, it works like a charm. If you fall into the void, you get the losing screen. And if you get to the flag, you get to the winning screen. Now, I forgot to write this in the script, but it's important because you can't really understand this without this detail. The Wowie Game Gems theme was progress is failure. So I made a game where if you get to the flag, you lose and you have to find a creative way to die. Yeah. So that's why I said that. But currently there is only one level, which is not very good, so I should probably make more levels. So I opened up a pixel art program and got working on making a gun thing. The idea is that you will be able to pick up blocks with your cursor, but it would be weird if you just telepathically grab the block without anything. So you will use this magic gun looking thing. Also, I gave it a little animation, so now it can open and close. So I hopped back into Unity and finally made a new level. I also added the gun to the player. It doesn't do anything yet, but it's there. This level is based on the fact that you cannot push boxes in this game. Like I said, you cannot push boxes in this game. But right now you can just jump over it, which is not very good. So I made it a tall boy, so now you can jump over it. You will have to use your magic gun thing to move it away. But at the moment it is not implemented. But the good news is that I don't have to code all this from scratch. A while ago I wanted to make a card game. And in a card game you obviously have to be able to grab cards. So I yoinked my old code and put it on the box and so we are good to go. You can now move the box around, the only thing is that your item doesn't really react to it. I wanted to A. follow the mouse cursor around and B. to open while you grab the box and close when you stop grabbing. A was pretty easy to implement since I have done this many times before, but B. Let's just say I suck at implementing animation in Unity. I got it working in the end though, and all that was left was to make more levels. But I was lazy to make levels, so I made one more level and called it a day. I had to make a new mechanic for this level, it's not much, it's called the axis lock. You can lock the x or y axis. I didn't make a level with the Y lock, but you can make one if you want, because the files to this project and all future random prototypes project is on my GitHub. Link in the description. Now, have a good day. Bye!